I feel like I'm the mother of this house. The heavy element you see in this place, the stones, the brick, the wood, the plants is not just a materials. A lot of efforts, ideas and thinking has put to curate every part of the house. Hi, this is Architect Bala Ganesh and Architect Hem Kumar from Anbal Architecture Studio. You can watch detailed walkthrough, chapters, and download a PDF of all the drawings, layouts, pictures from the developer.com. The link is in the description below. The house is located in the older settlement area of Madurai. The neighborhood is in a calm and serene setting with greenery around. The main intent of the design is to create a harmonious space with the conscious amalgamation of the natural materials without compromising the functionality of the space. So we have done textures, we have done experiments which doesn't affect the functionality which increases the activities of the house. The site sits on an east facing plot. We enter to site, we have a wide opening in the front and we have a narrow car parking. This is a veranda. There is a very intricate detailed chatina door which is done by Burma Atik. There is an 11 clamped uh, door to, which is standing in the entrance and it, it sits on a concrete background which gives light for the foreground and enjoying the newspaper in the morning. The house opens up to a lavish living room with a curated wooden furniture. We chose uh, brick as the embodiment of our design. Uh, we are greeted with a random rubble masonry wall with a small openings for the artifacts. We are not ready to get the direct sunlight inside the house. We only we need the diffuse light. Since it's a double height, we can't open it. So north and east inside. So we used fixed glasses and uh, security purpose we used grills. What is the advantage of Atamuri tiles is uh, we can customize our own design one. And number two is, it's, it's really healthy for us. If we use marble or granite, we can't stand cold weather. These styles is very healthy for the environment and our body. The living room then opens up to this courtyard. So this space has a character to invite every space is here. It's a magnet, it's a, so that if we are doing, if we are going to do anything, we have to cross the central courtyard. So activity happens there. We started planning this space and then uh, the volumes evolved itself. The connectivity between the kitchen and bedroom uh, foyer has been done. Yeah, we are in the master bedroom of this residence. We have planned it on the southwest quadrant of the house. So we uh, raised the floor level to 2 feet 6 inches as per Vastu reasons and we also increased the room height to 12 feet. So we passed by the enclosed courtyard. Here we are in uh, mother's bedroom. We have planned a corner window facing east. We can have a good reading space with oxide finish and we also thought an idea of to create a storage inside. The clients want more of privacy into the bedroom. So we used a frosted glass for our uh, corner window. So our uh, basic intent is to cut down the maximum usage of concrete and we took this concept of fill a slab. And in the northwest, this is the dining space. So this staircase uh, foundation was a random rule foundation and the seating is a granite and this is a 3 inch granite slabs. Uh, above that we placed Kerala teak. Staircase leads to the meditation hall in the first floor, which I think is a beautiful space in the house. Meditation space which opens up to a 12 feet height grand uh, random rubble wall and uh, Ratak Dome matches crown. So we, we conducted uh, a workshop, we called for students, we sent invitations for colleges and uh, many people showed up. So we all together worked and we completed that uh, Ratak. The clarity we got because they were asking uh, so many questions. In the civil structure they came, they asked so much of questions, so I've answered it 
they called again they have added it so it, it's become very easy to understand the space for me also so we have uh, opened the complete roof as a skylight so here we get a complete diffuse light throughout the day after the meditation space this bridge leads to the fifth bedroom and the reading space this is a re reading space in the house this is the fifth level in the house so this reading space is a very isolated space in the volume directly visually connected to the living dining and the courtyard this is a northern and eastern windows passing through the bridge in the southeast corner and which connects to the uh, terrace this is a open balcony space and which connects to the bedroom they wanted privacy so we have created a skin jolly walk it concern to brick weed the public and semi public is pretty much the same uh, the door opens to a very big volume so the, uh, you could find some characters resembling temple so the brick you see in this exposed wall have been intricately chosen by us it's it's a 2.5 inches bricks we reduce the size to points on five to increase the to enhance the volume to enhance the scale uh, we used the uh, stem stones padikal in every door frames and uh, stone lintels when i was completed my college and went to a firm to work he was an intern in there after 6 years later i just called him for a project and he just came madrela vandu odacha kalla kedaikad sadaram adha kedaikum and the kalla vandu it has we we reshaped it every stone has been reshaped to make this output random rubbles kondu varadhu ponnom நான் மெயினாக வாசு பார்ப்பேன் நான் எங்களுக்கு மனசுக்கு திருத்தியாச்சு அது சேம் டைம் வாசு ஹண்ட்ரட் பர்சன்ட் சக்ஸஸ் ஆகுனால எங்களுக்கு நல்லா இருக்குது எங்களுக்கு விடன் ஹாவ் எனி ஸ்பீ ஸ்லீப் வெல் கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்டிங் திஸ் ப்ராடக்ட் ஸோ ஐ ஹேவன் டன் எனி கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் டாயிங் மை லைஃப் பிஃபோர் ஸோ திஸ் ஸ்டார்ட் மை எவ்ரி திங் இன் ஆர்கிடெக்சர் எ ஹவுஸ் இஸ் நாட் ஜஸ்ட் அ பிளேஸ் வேர் யூ லிவ் இன் இட் ஷுட் என்ரிச் அண்ட் மோட்டிவேட் அஸ் டே த்ரூ அவுட் அவர் லைஃப்